right, how's it going everyone? Spencer with CFSM Media here, giving you guys an update on some infrastructure projects here in Maricopa County. Now, one of the ones that's happening right now, you can see behind me the new alignment to Dove Valley Road. So Dove Valley Road is gonna continue out. You can see State Route 303 over there. Um, Dove Valley is gonna go through to the edge of the Taiwan Superconductor uh, Plant Project. So this whole area is getting built out major new arterial that's going in here on Dove Valley Road. And then they're gonna have, I think, two or three spots where they link into uh, State Route 303. And then over, and I'll overlay some drone video here, over to my right, uh, there is going to be a new interchange which is built for the 303 and I-17, which is awesome. Um, you're also gonna see a bunch of new uh, overpasses and interchanges for uh, the streets that are going north-south, um, which are going to be intersecting with this project. That being said, those north-south streets are going to get built up to Wickenburg Highway, which is next to Ben Avery up there. So if you want to look at a map, I'll overlay some stuff just so you can kind of see the overview of the plan for the area. That's what's happening. You're also going to have a lot of mixed use along I-17 here. That's what it's zoned for right now. You're going to have some industrial and then you're gonna have some uh, residential, which is gonna be up along the hillsides on the south side of uh, 303. That is what the city plans are, at least right now, from what I see on the zoning map. Um, but really cool projects, gonna bring a lot of um, jobs out to this side of town. Um, it's a great area of town. Honestly, I like it, I like this area. It's not just the flat landscape of the desert, it's, you got rolling hills, which is awesome. Gives some scenery, but, um, Beyond that, you know, the semiconductor plant is progressing along very nicely. So um, that being said, we are gonna try and actually do an official tour on property. I just haven't had time to set that up yet. Everything's just been crazy. So I haven't been doing the media stuff as much just because day job stuff, super crazy right now. So uh, this goes on the back burner anytime my day job goes uh, crazy. So um, that being said, everyone, um, it's good to see that this plant's being built, especially with global affairs right now. You know, the theory is that with Russia going into Ukraine fully now, not just little green men since Obama's administration, that, you know, we're looking at potentially China taking over Taiwan, right? Where do we get a lot of chips from? Taiwan. So Taiwan semiconductors, right, building their plant out here is good. More chip production in the States is good, right? Because we don't want to be reliant on other nations, which is why I hate that the current administration decided to get rid of a lot of the former president's policies, which emboldened developing stuff at home, right? So, I mean, we look at the, the pipeline to Canada, we look at all this other stuff, right? by the current administration canceling all that and trying to rely on foreign um, materials and everything else. And I get the, the way I said that, you know, Canada pipeline, oh, isn't that foreign? Well, it's a lot easier buying oil from Canada than it is shipping it from the Middle East or Russia, right? So that being said, you know, I, I, I still think it was horrible some of these policies that have changed under uh, the current administration but why do you think they're walking over him and going in fully into Ukraine right now weak president you wonder what Trump said to to Putin and I would imagine it would be something along the lines of mutually insured destruction if you go in there but no one wants mad mad is very bad so that being said again um, you know I think it's good that we have some local production, even this, this is just a start, you know, just seeing all this stuff happening here in the States. But huge project can bring a lot of jobs. And I'm eager to see what other infrastructure projects I can tour with you guys. Um, one of those I do want to tour a lot right now is the expansion work on I-17 going north. Um, and that's a spoiler for next, or one of the next videos I work on, is you'll see ADOT, and they just announced this, they're installing a lot of, um, A, they're installing a new conduit going north for all the telco providers, so that, that's kind of cool. Um, they're also 
doing some expansion on I-17 up to the um, rest area, right? Because going down the hill on the weekends, good luck, right? It's always traffic, especially if it snows up north and people want to go up and play in the snow, always traffic. Or when it's, on the flip side, when it's hot out and people want to escape the heat, where's all the traffic going? North on 17. So, um, yeah, that being said, guys, I mean, it's, uh, it's good to see all these projects being built. Uh, I'll see what I can schedule in the future. Uh, I just haven't been doing a lot of the media stuff as much recently just because of how busy my just life is right now with uh, my day job and everything else. So I'm um, not able to do this as frequently as I would like, but priorities in life, right? You got to make a living. So that being said, guys, uh, I know I keep saying that being said. I guess that's my new catchphrase, but um, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, um, and I'll see you on the next video. If you want to see any infrastructure videos around Arizona, let me know. I'll see if I can get out there or if I'm back in San Diego because that's the other area I cover. Um, and that's usually on the holidays when I'm back over there. So um, let me know what you want me to cover, and I'll see what I can do. But uh, again, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.